Welcome back YouTube and molders out there. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. Today's video we're actually going to go over the different types of in, or actually injection molding. There's only two different ways of injection molding. Horizontal or vertical and then there's blow molding okay. So I'm going to go into detail of what the two are actually and show you the difference of the two okay. So most injection molding is horizontal this way or vertical this way so you have the press this way it'll open here your injection unit will be up on top this way would be it open up here your injection unit would be right here okay that's the two different ones for injection molding blow molding is a little different you have what they call a carousel you have what they call a two station um, just follow along um, and you'll actually see in this video what I'm talking about as far as you know two station carousel like if you had like um what is it a ferris wheel it's kind of like a ferris wheel it goes around and all your molds are hooked to that they just go around in a circle so follow along I hope you guys enjoy the video used to make the wide range of plastic products in use throughout our lives a good start is injection molding Injection molding is used to make plastic parts using two-part molds that, when closed, are injected with melted plastic to form individual parts. Here's how it works. Material gravity flows into the injection machine's screw, where it is melted by the compressing motion of the screw and then injected into the mold to form the part or parts. The mold is quickly cooled, letting the parts solidify the mold opens to release the parts and the mold closes again to repeat the cycle over and over again. Molding cycles can last anywhere from one second for tiny parts made in tiny molding machines to minutes for large parts made in presses the size of a building. Extrusion processes use the same plastic melting operation as injection molding but there is no mold and the resin compressing screw rotates constantly and product is created continuously. Extrusion uses a die, a hollow form that molten plastic is pushed through to create its specific shape and thickness. A water bath or spray chamber then cool the extruded shape and often provide pressure and or vacuum controls to properly size the product as it passes through. Belts or cleated pullers apply smooth tension on the product and keep it moving in pace with the extruder. A cutter or saw create the final product length or a winder creates spools of the final product. There are many variations to the extrusion process, but a mixture of extrusion and molding is found in the blow molding process, where plastic is continuously extruded into a tube shape and then clamped in a mold and blown into its shape with compressed air. It's a process that often operates in a shuttle movement with a set of molds. Each mold takes a turn grabbing a section of extruded tube, called a parison, and shuttling it to one side to blow it into a bottle shape, letting it cool, and then releasing it to be filled with product or shipped. Each mold alternates with a second mold doing the same thing for maximum productivity. The same blow molding process can also utilize multiple extruders for what is called co-extrusion. Co-extrusion is used to create bottles made up of multiple layers and each layer possesses special characteristics like suitability for food contact, an outside color for brand awareness, ultraviolet light protection for long shelf life of the product, a layer of regrind for economical reuse of scrap, and many times barrier and adhesive layers are included to separate and bond the layers for a tough cohesive bottle. A high volume form of blow molding uses many molds mounted onto a continuously rotating wheel mechanism. The extruder creates a hollow tube and as the wheel rotates each of its molds will open, grab a parison from the extruder die, blow the parison into a bottle, allow it to cool, and then place it onto a conveyor, producing a continuous stream of finished bottles originating from that continuous flow of plastic from the extruder. These 
wheel machines can also produce co-extruded bottles containing layers designed to meet the needs of the product and to use reclaimed material for maximum economy and recycling benefits. The very popular sales of plastic bottles for carbonated beverages has created a unique process for blow molded bottles made specifically from polyethylene terephthalate, or PET. For PET blow molding, bottles are first created in a test tube shape, injection molded preform, and then, in a separate operation, reheated and blown into their final shape. This two-stage process creates bottles that we, as consumers, know to be thin-walled, yet capable of containing gaseous carbonated beverages without losing pressure or exploding, even if they are dropped. Hope you guys enjoyed that content. Um, if you guys would, if you'll go to the very first part of my videos, like, it, like two to three years ago, if you scroll down to my videos, you'll see some videos in there that go over hold pressure, that go over gate freeze, that go over process window, that go over... I mean, I did like probably a hundred videos that go over a bunch of different things uh, that I was able to do at work. A lot of companies will not let you videotape inside of their companies to show you guys the different things that are going on. Okay, so follow along, you know, and hopefully I don't get in trouble for any kind of copyrights or anything like that going forward in the future. I'm just trying to give back to you molders out there to show you some of the stuff. So in this last video, you got to see some blow mold and stuff. So look, these are some bottles. Think about it. This one here, if you look on the look on it, it's made out of polyethylene. It's got the little symbol right there on it. You know, this one here, same thing. These are all blow molded. This is a blow molded part. Down there at the bottom, that is where they inject the, the injection pin goes in and blows it open, you know. At the top, is it's sealed up at the top up there, so... Oh, and you guys get to look at my alcohol station here. Yeah. But I just wanted you guys to be able to be aware of what's going on with the channel. I'm trying to give back to you guys as much as possible. I'm not RJG. I don't have all that money and all that scientific stuff to give you. What I've learned over the years doing, you know, die casting, injection molding, blow molding extrusion some compression moldings what i've done over the years i did some sand casting and a little bit of silicone okay so i've been in the industry for over 30 years so i just want to give you guys back what you guys are asking for and looking for as molders out there um it's a dying breed really if you think about it a lot of people don't really think about where their car parts come from where the plastic bottles come from where the plastic forks come from all that stuff so i'm just giving back to you guys out there okay so please like share and subscribe till next time peace